video here we're going to be talking about uh, Gurgia. Gurgia is the savior of the map or the format. The reason why is this deck actually can play. Medulces can play now because they have Angeli. That's literally all. Because they can go Angeli, Queen, and you have to hope that your opponent doesn't have the outs. And because Artifact, Hand, Trap Tricks. Yes, I can bounce back the hands, but that's where it ends. They can use all of their back row and all of their monsters besides that to completely wipe my board. So the fact that people are trying to say that Medulces are better than the Artifact Hand, Trap Tricks, is, that's a false statement. Now, Middle Jays can win because they have their queen. That is the only win condition. Sylvans have their own queen now. Genry will get their own queen. There's a ton of cards that are very similar to queen. All queen's got going for her is that she's cute and so people like the deck and so then when it started being liked, everyone started hating it. So we've got that. Now we're gonna talk about Girgia though. What does Girgia doing for this format? They are doing a deck that runs heavy back row, heavy front row, and can completely maintain hand presence. I once got destroyed by a Girgia player when he was doing nothing but reusing the same Girgia accelerator. It just kept going from field to graveyard to hand to field to graveyard to hand using all these random cards. And yes, he was using other cards that were on the field, but the whole time he still had his four cards in his hand. He was continually reusing the one accelerator, pulling cards out of his deck, pulling cards from the graveyard. He's going boom, boom, filling up the field. Can you tell me that a hands can get rid of that? No, if they've got five monsters out, yeah, I can kill three cards with my hands. And they've got still two cards. And four cards in their hand. And two cards back row. I mean, this was a very, very well thought out deck. I think your gears are really cool. They're just, it's so cool. I was considering building it at one point in time back when it was a little cheaper, but then me and my friends were like, eh, I don't really care. I don't want to buy gear to get, get access. It's not that important to us. And the deck got really good, and it's just really, really cool. And there's just so much about it. But the thing is, this deck is kind of the rescue of the meta because everybody in the world is playing the Artifacts Trap Tricks hands. The Artifact Tricks. It's just, I think that this deck is the way to counter that because we can use this deck to spam the field, spam the back row, and keep hand presence. And you can burn through the hands. And you can burn through the moral tax. And once you can kill that, the deck is literally left with nothing. Oh, that's a lie. I can use my pot of dichotomy. All right. My turn, I'll kill you. Yeah, you got your one card draw. But after I burn through your entire field, you can recycle three and draw your one card. But the way that the deck plays, and the way that all these different decks are playing, Gyrgya can take care of itself. And it can keep things going. And especially if you have a really good player, you don't have to worry about what the opponent's doing. If you've got a good side deck, you don't have to worry about what the opponent is doing. This deck is good because it's putting certain deck in its place, and it should stay there. And I think Girgi will do great. I honestly do not even think Girgi is any kind of broken. I think in any other situation besides this specific format, this deck would do great. I think. If Medulces were around with their Angeli back when E-Dragon and Prophecies were a thing, I could almost guarantee they would have been up with those decks because Medulces could fight the E-Dragons. Now, what does this deck do? Girgia is really good against this deck. It has some problems against Medulces, that's why they run heavy back row, and it has some problems against other decks. But in the end, Girgia is a completely fair deck. It's just it takes a really, really broken deck and exploits the aspect that they can go boom, I have 20 million cards on the field and you can't do anything. I think that this deck is good. I think that it's great. I think it is currently the savior of the meta. This format is not as bad as the E-Dragon format. I will refer to that format most of the time as the format that never happened. So if you ever hear me saying that, just that's what it means. And I just, this is, this is I think really good for the format. You've got decks like my Dual Chase, which yeah, they've got their Angeli, which is so broken, no. But um, it's just they've got that and they've got something going for them. Gustos have some chances, but right now because of the artifact tricks, you can't do anything. It's just I think the artifact tricks are making the game ill. Once they're gone, this is going to be such a great format. I was really hoping for this format to be a lot better than it was. And it was good. And then the artifacts came out and the trap tricks came out and the hands came out. And everyone's like, hey, hey. 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals I always win for some reason. I don't know. Tell me what you think of Geary in the description below. 
if you think I was totally wrong. Are they most broken deck ever? Sure, if you play Artifact Tricks, I don't want to hear you say they're the most broken deck ever, unless you're telling me about what other deck you were playing, in which it was proven completely broken. It's just, I don't know, I don't, I don't really see Artifact Tricks as a deck per se. Like I was saying in my other video, I'll try and put a link in the description. It's literally, in my opinion, it's just like a pile of cards that says, I win. I'm still winning. I mean, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the description below. Sorry, it's like, what is it, like, early and I'm kind of tired, but I really wanted to get some of these videos recorded. And I thought that this was just something I really wanted to talk about. Geargy is really, really, really cool. Thanks for watching. Yeah. I'm waking up to